Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Last time I asked this one. Healthy that everybody should start their day with. And let's see discussions and see if you're right. See you next time. I got a few comments under the video and some of my friends were even writing to uh, me on my personal page. Others were calling me on my phone to give me different suggestions. Lemon juice warm water with honey, vinegar water, soda bicarbonate and some others. You are right, doing them is better than not doing anything at all. Some of you who watched my video last time know, know that I had cancer and yes, before uh, it I used to do lemon water with honey but after the diagnosis uh, I stopped doing this in the mornings because uh, that's immune stimulator. In my opinion, many people who choose uh, traditional medicine to fight cancer, they make the common mistake to uh, try to improve their immune system. Uh, but that's a different subject and if you're interested, let me know in comments below and I may make video about that. It's how I end up searching for other solutions uh, to help my results and a couple of times it shows sauerkraut juice. Yes, I know, I was exactly the same and don't make this face, I can see you from here. But um, that's why I was the reason that I was just uh, screwing down anytime it shows up on my screen. But one time I saw actually that drinking sauerkraut juice is main part of a protocol uh, for curing cancer and uh, preventing cancer. Everyone who knows me knows that when I'm interested in something, I, I, sp I spend hours and days in reading and researching um, about what I'm interested in. And uh, right now I'm gonna give you all this information for free, ready to use. This is sort of a like, right? So please, like, 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 like the video and do it now. Do it, please do it. Okay, thank you. Now we can gonna go along with the information which I want to give you. And I'm sorry from now it's gonna be a bit boring because I need to use some medical terms to give you actually the information. So, sauerkraut juice shows the results in inhabiting the growth of Salmonella, uh, Candida and Escherichia coli as well many more bacteria and fungi which could uh, cause uh, poisoning, sickness and even death in some cases. Probiotic benefits uh, which low the risk of uh, brain disorders, mental illnesses, the gist different or, uh, disorders like uh, leaky gut and um, colics and many more, um, mood depression, mood disorders like depression, uh, allergies, cancer, asthma, hormonal imbalance, obesity, weight gain, various of uh, immune disorders, food allergies and skin sensitivity. If you have any of those conditions, please put it as a hashtag down in the comments and on this way we can help some other people to uh, see this video in their researches and uh, you can do that by opening the comment section down there and put the sign for a hashtag and just put your issue, for example, cancer and press enter. If you have more than one condition, you can put more comments and uh, just do it like the previous one. Let's go back to the topic. Drinking sauerkraut juice stabilizes your uh, blood pressure, makes your body alkane and adds natural probiotics uh, in uh, the body which control inflammation and which is the root actually of most uh, and cause most of the diseases out there. That's why it helps also the, uh, to detox it and by this uh, prevent from infections and keep the body healthy and creates a good digestive flora. From my previous video you already know that I had most of the issues. If you haven't watched the video there is link below and you can do so. But anyways, few years back I had huge problems with diabetes, metabolic, metabolic issues and after a cancer diagnosis I had a lot of issues with my skin and sensitivity. Also, it was a huge problem for me to accept the news and I had to fight depression in the beginning. So I wanted to give it a try and start drinking sauerkraut juice, but I had two huge problems. And the first one was that it was made from this one. And the second one was actually that I have to drink this one and I couldn't stay the smell. Now I'm sure that most of you are wondering why it's a problem for me that it's made from cabbage. I have thyroid problems. 
And long story short is that Tyroid is a butterfly shaped gland which is placed right here and uh, produce hormones which are responsible and control your metabolism. Actually that was the reason at first place why I started gaining weight, which doesn't matter right now, but connection between thyroid and cabbage. Vegetables like Brussels sprout, cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, uh, mustard seeds, uh, bok choy and many more tend to be rich in uh, go Jo going through GANS, that's a funny word which I cannot even say in Bulgarian, uh, but um, they have the substance which block enzyme that allow thyroids to use iodine. And 80% of the iodine which you are having in your body, uh, it's used by thyroid uh, gland. Don't be scared, if your gland is working normally, you have no issues with uh, eating those foods. But for a person like me who has hypothyroidism, which is low function, function of the thyroid, um, actually eating those foods can cause immune disease. And uh, for me it's an issue to have them. And I know, actually, uh, that's a lucky thing here, that they go away with cooking the, cooking the products but I had no information what goes or what's going on if uh, uh, cabbage gets a fermentation. There are other foods connected to thyroid and uh, things which could be done to help its function. And if you have those issues and you're interested in the subject, press a pause and put a comment below to let me know and I can make a video for you about that. But after uh, deciding that I want to try the cabbage juice, I had, to, I had to check if the sauerkraut it's uh, actually good for people with thyroid problems. I did huge research and I couldn't find any connection and specific information that actually is harming people with thyroid problems. So I, this leads to my second problem. I actually had to drink something what I cannot stand and I hate the taste and the smell of it. In Bulgaria many people like uh, to drink it, cook with it and even use it as a cure for a hangover. But that's crazy, right? So I had actually to find the way to like the taste or at least start drinking at first place. And the key to that was consistency. In my opinion, that's the key of life, living and success anyway. I do it. It took me a long time, but the first morning when I decided to try so, I just woke up and I went and get a bottle and I open it, smell it and took it down. Second morning I wake up, I went to take the bottle and I try to reach the taste. And that was exactly my face and I'm pretty sure even it was worse. The third morning I wake up and I got the bottle again. I smell it. And that was the first time when actually I had almost a sip. And I hate it. And it took me actually a few mornings to have actually real few sips. And it happened like maybe six, seven morning. So, and then I'm pretty sure it was about two weeks when actually I reached a moment to have like a couple of a cup. And my face was completely different and it was something like that. And you know this moment when you drink something or eat something and you really, really enjoy it and you stop doing it, you actually want more. And that's how I feel now with sauerkraut juice. I promise you it's not that hard to create a taste. Think about all the benefits and dry information which I gave you in the beginning and uh, it's worth it to try. Please make sure and have on mind that any alternative or traditional medicine, it's not working for everybody. So. Give it a try, but you know, just always listen to your body. Always listen to your body to make sure how something is working on you. If you decide to give it a try, just make, uh, just do like me. Wake up in the morning and once you open your eyes, go get the bottle. You're still having all those things here, which I don't know in English. And your breath smells like scuffed skunk and you just give a zip. Uh, and if you cannot do that, just smell it at first, just like I did in the beginning. 
then you can get up and clean your clean up yourself or no whatever you decide for example today i did it because i know i'm filming in front of you today but that's your choice and you can go out and actually buy a few bottles or uh, or tetra packs uh, you're gonna be impressed that you have them in any big supermarket on uh, this healthy section uh, right now is the season and you uh, there's uh, they're sold even on the markets where are vegetables and fruits or you can make your own i found a system how to do it uh, or the own cold the year not only during the winter season and it's a little bit different from the, the traditional way of doing it especially in bulgaria and actually in few weeks i'm gonna make a new band bench so if you're interested you can put comments down and let me know or you can contact me on face facebook instagram twitter and uh, let me know and i could make video while, while i'm doing this thank you guys for watching i hope that you enjoyed the information which i gave you and i want to say a few more words that uh, after my previous video i had a lot of comments on my personal page and also many people contact me on private messages and called me to share with me how emotional it was for them to understand that actually I was fighting cancer while I was, be, I was around them and they didn't know that. And they're waiting for my future videos to see, and, uh, to see the information which I want to give. And uh, make sure you subscribe the channel and you're not going to miss any of them. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the support which you gave me and you give me the power to keep doing what I'm doing. See you next Sunday.